Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial on the New Boston's YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you a couple things this time. We're going to go over the grid and we're going to go over um, moving around with the hand tool. And I'm going to show you how to uh, mess around with the grid and stuff. So the grid, as you can see up here, it's, it's a checkerboard display that you can help to align your text or your graphics or whatever you're using here in Illustrator. And the grid here, it appears always behind your artwork so it doesn't get in the way. And when you use um, different commands such as snap to grid, you can align the objects to the grid line, which is pretty handy if you want to use the grid. Now you can adjust these so that the grid lines are bigger, you can see them better, you can change the color and everything, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And pretty much when an object comes in between uh, two pixels of the grid lines, it's going to snap to the grid. So you can, I think you can adjust that so it's a different, but uh, I'll check that out. I'm not sh totally sure, but we'll see in the uh, preferences. So let's go to view. And down here, you can hide or show your grid. So this is how you get it on. So you can follow along. And then we've got another thing down here called Snap to Grid. And you want to turn that on for this tutorial. And that allows us to snap our objects to the grid line. So let's uh, go on here and uh, check out our preferences. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, and we're going to go to Guides and Grid. So down here is the grid section. We can change the color to whatever we want. Now, I could change it to blue if I wanted to. Hit OK, and now they're all blue. Depends on what you want to want to use. Like this kind of reminds me of like the graph paper that we used to use in high school and college. So it's kind of handy. You can see it a little better. It's up to you what you want to use, and you probably want to change it to something that's not a color that's used in your project. So let's go back to the preferences. And we've got other things going on here. We've got style. You can specify if you want lines or dots. So if I hit dots, that's what the dots are going to look like. Now if I go to move this guy, you can see that he can snap right there to the dots. If, you, if you're look, wondering what's snapping, check out the left foot here. And it snapped right to it. So go ahead and try that out when you have the snap to grid command. All right, now um, let's go back to the preferences and guides and grid. I'm going to change this back to lines. Now we can change out how much we want our grid lines to be. Grid line every 72 pixels. Let's change this to like 150. And we'll hit OK. And you can see that the grid lines are a lot bigger now. And something like this, in my opinion, is easier to work with. I'm not going to need to go into all these super small grid parts within uh, w when I'm using just like these images here. And you can see that this is snapping to each of these grid lines as I'm going through it. It also moves in between. You can see right now the right foot of this dog is snapped to that grid line. And if I move up, now the left foot of the dog is. So that's how you can see, that's how uh, it's snapping. All right, there you go. And that is, remember, that's because we have the snap to grid selected. Now if I take that off, if I start moving him around, he's not snapping. It's using the smart guides to uh, snap. So, and that is on the snap to point. That's why that's on. If I take that off as well, it's not going to snap to anything. It's just going to be free flowing around. Alrighty. Let's put that back on and let's go back to our preferences. So we can check out some more things. We've got grids and back and show pixel grid. So grid, grids and back and that pretty much displays your uh, grids and back of your artwork. If I unselect it, it doesn't, obviously. And this pixel grid, show pixel grid, when you zoom in, it's going to automatically show the pixel grid when you go above 600% zoom. 
So let me turn off the grid. And then I'll start zooming in. Let's go to 600. Oh, let's go up to actually, we've got to go greater than 600, so 800. And I got to be in the actual pixel uh, view. If I can remember where that is, pixel preview. There we go. Now we got a grid going on here. If I go lower, there's no more grid. So it's when you're in the pixel preview mode is when that uh, particular um, option that you can select is useful. So if I go off of it, it's not going to work, as we just demonstrated earlier, because now we're in a vector mode. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you while we're zoomed in now is the hand tool. And the hand tool is down here. And it's a handy tool that I like to use a lot, and it's especially useful when you're zoomed in. The hotkey is H, and what it does is it just moves um, what you're working on around. It doesn't actually move it around, it moves the actual like view around. And this way, you don't have to use the sliders. It's basically the same as moving your sliders around. It's moving your view along the, um, along the artboard or whatever, along your screen. And what's cool about it is that it's got a couple of hotkeys that, or it's got the H hotkey where you can just switch to it. Or if you're like using any other tool, if you hold down spacebar, which I just did, I'm holding down spacebar right now, it automatically switches to your hand tool. And that's pretty sweet as well. If I hold down, um, I already just said that, I just went over holding down spacebar. So, I mean, that's pretty much all there is really for the hand tool. And it's it was a, it's a useful tool, but there's not much to talk about with it. So that's why I just added it onto the end of using the, uh, the grids tutor tutorial. So hopefully you guys got a few new um, tricks up your sleeve using the grid, using the hand tool, and all that jazz. So thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.